Yes, hi everyone. I'm Marcus Logan. I'm the manager of community development and engagement for the Oakville Public Library. And I'm also a member of the Lighthouse PAC, the Professional Advisory Council. So I'm really honored to be presenting this year uh, at the Grief uh, Symposium. And my session will be uh, understanding grief in the 2S LGBTQ plus communities. I think I really want, um, what I wanna try and get across to uh, people taking my session this year is uh, to understand um, that the 2S LGBTQ plus community have uh, unique barriers, I would guess, uh, to grief uh, and, and, and things in the world um, that uh, prevent them from grieving properly or accessing grief services. And so I really want to be able to highlight those barriers and then provide uh, our learners with solutions to, uh, to uh, allow the 2S LGBTQ community to come into your space, come into your programs, uh, and feel included and, um, and safe. So I think the 2020, the year of 2020 is, um, I think we're gonna see a lot of mental health come out of it. I mean, the isolation and the separation from people that we love and, and we really are, I think I am, I'm a hugger, right? I like to, I like to have that close personal contact um, and hugs are healing. And I think that uh, around grief um, support, uh, we, we are, we've lost that a little bit. We've lost that human connection and that human touch that is so important in our journeys through grief and our healing. Uh, so I think we're gonna see a lot of mental health um, coming out of this, uh, out of this year. And, um, but I think there's also different ways that we're connecting, right? We are connecting, everything is virtual now, we are connecting online. Um, but I, and I think that piece will, the online piece of so work groups so, and, and ways of learning and education online will continue but I think we're really going to want to see particularly in grief uh, you're going to need that human touch back. Mm -hmm.